Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a review on this KitchenAid coffee grinder. So I paid $160 for this on sale. It normally retails for $200. It seems like a very nice coffee maker. It's just something about KitchenAid appliances. I like the finish of them, the feel of them. It feels like very good quality. Okay, so the screen is nice and solid in real life. It's just doing that in the video. But again, this, this grinder just looks really nice. It's a conical burr grinder, so it's gonna do a really good job grinding coffee. So we can grind coffee into this container here, or down here, we can grind it into a portafilter. This just comes out and it fits right there, and it will hold a 54 or a 58 millimeter portafilter. Here I've got one from the machine and it fits right there. So you can grind right into a portafilter. And I like that this stows out of the way. Again, this thing is made very nice. Okay, so up here is the bean hopper. You're gonna put your beans in here, but we can take this off. You're gonna turn it. You'll see this come over to the unlock position and you can lift it up. So there's a close up of the conical burr grinder. Now we can take this top part out. It's got this ring, turn it to the left and it will come out. And we can clean this all up and put this back in. So when you're ready to put it back in, just put it in. You're gonna turn it to the right until it clicks. Click and put that down. So underneath the grinder, that's where it's gonna come out. And there's what the bottom of it looks like. Okay, so when you're ready to put the bean hopper back on, now you gotta turn it all the way for these lines to go away. You gotta turn it all the way to the left till it clicks and then your display will light up. If you don't have it all the way, it will not work. So just turn it till it clicks. Okay, so to adjust the grind size is up here, this nice lever, and this is gonna change accordingly. It's gonna show you the grind size from one all the way over to espresso, which is 70. It's just a very nice feel to it. So we'll be doing some um, espresso and drip coffee. Now to change the size, it's this button, this knob right here. We can do 12 cups all the way down to one cup. Now what's neat about this machine is when you get over to the espresso grind, the cups goes to shots and you can only do one or two. No matter how much I turn this, I can only do one or two shots. That's, it's assuming that you're gonna grind this into a portafilter. But as soon as I get past that into the drip area, I can change it all the way up to 12 cups. Okay, so then the time. The time can be adjusted. This knurled thing goes around and around and it's got, now this has presets in it already, factory presets for the amount of time that it's gonna grind. So when you've, got, when you've got this on the grind setting of 44, which is right in the middle, and you've got it on 12 cups, it knows a certain time. Let's go away, every time you go back to it. So 12 cups at that, 44 is 51.9 seconds. But I can adjust that. So say I know I want mine to be 62 or whatever, 62. Now, if I go away from that and go back to it, it always goes back to the factory default. But say I want to memorize that. So say I say my 12 cups, I want that to be 60 seconds. Press the program button one time, and now when I go away and come back to it, it goes to that 60 seconds. But say you want to go back, and it, it changes the time on the other grind settings accordingly. So say you want to go back to factory resets real easy, this program button, hold it for three seconds, and it goes back to factory uh, time. So again, grind size is right here, and that's this button. So quantity, cups, is this button. And then time is this. And then when you're ready, you just hit the start button. And then the countdown timer will count down. Okay, so let's put our coffee beans in. Okay, so let's first do an espresso into a portafilter. Let's grab this. Again, stick that there, put that back. Now we can put our dosing funnel right there. So again, I've got, my, I've got the grinder over to the espresso side. Let's go a couple clicks away from full um, fine. And let's go again, I can only do one shot or two shots. It's got the time already set for me. And I'm just gonna hit the start button. It's a very quiet coffee uh, grinder. Now, if I see, if I can stop and start this, 
and it doesn't go back to the to the beginning of the time. If I stop it with the button, it kind of just, it's like a pause button. So I say I could move something around, then hit the start button again, and it'll just finish whatever was there. But I let this one run all the way through, and wow, that did a good job. Okay, so let's take the portafilter off. Yeah, I was able to take it off and not spill any. So there's the finely ground coffee. It looks like it did an excellent job. So this is the container we can brew or we can uh, grind coffee into. Um, the lid, it kind of makes it airtight. You know, it's not super airtight. This just snaps on and off. But when you're going to grind coffee into it, it folds back onto itself. And you can still put it in there like that. So let's take this off. Let's put this on. And again, this just slides in there like this. So now let's let's say we want to do a drip coffee maker. And I want to do, let's do, I'm doing six cups. It's got the time already set. I could change that if I wanted to, but let's just do the factory one and hit the start button. I can't get over how quiet this coffee grinder is. And it's counting down the time again. If I hit this button, it's kind of like a pause. And then I can just start it back up again. Okay, so let's take this out. Let's take a look. That looks awesome. And you know what I like is there's not a bunch of static electricity clinging. You know, sometimes this coffee really clings to all of this, makes a bunch of... No, this looks really nice. And again, if I wanted to, I could put the lid on it, and then I could just put this on it. So I could grind a whole bunch. That way it would be ready for me to go. Okay, so again, here's that medium grind. You know, it's, it's kind of fine. I might go a little coarser, but it's all really nice and even. Okay, so let's put this back in. Let's do a coarse grind. Let's go all the way coarse. So again, it's all the way. It's on one. You know, let's just do six cups again. Yeah, again, I just can't stress enough how quiet this coffee grinder is. Okay, so it doesn't beep at us or anything when it's done. Let's take a look. There's coarse. Yep, it's coarse. Now, there's not big chunks in there. It's nice and even. So it does come with this little scoop and this little brush. Okay, so let's, take, let's say we want to take the bean hopper off with beans in it. Turn it to the unlock position. Now it's gonna, it's got a little thing that closes off that doesn't let the beans come out. That's a very nice feature. So that blocks them off so the beans can't come out. There's what that looks like. So I can put that back in, turn it, do size 15 inches all the way to the top. Front to back is about eight and a half inches. The cord is about 30 inches long. And left to right, you're about five inches. So there is something about this coffee grinder. I am absolutely in love with it. It feels like very good quality. Again, I wish for the video, the display, it's nice and steady. But again, I can't believe how quiet it is. I cannot believe how accurate the coffee grind was, how it went into the portafilter filter just perfect. Um, I've got a new best, I got a new, um, this is my favorite coffee grinder right now. There's something, again, KitchenAid appliances, I really do like the look of them. Again, that's kind of a shiny look. But when you have this coffee grinder, it has an overall quality feel to it it's kind of heavy everything kind of works nothing feels too loose or anything and i just can't get over this coffee grinder i've really been looking into KitchenAid appliances lately and this one's is no exception i see why people buy KitchenAid appliances this is extremely well built and it, it just works very good and so i'm super excited now to do this espresso machine i I just got this espresso machine. I got to unbox it and set it up, but wow, I am excited now. So for $159, that, that's what I would pay for it. You know, normally it retails for $200. That does seem a little steep, but if you do end up paying $200 for it, you are getting a very good quality grinder. This would make a great addition to a kitchen for somebody that has an espresso machine or when you grind your own coffee for a drip coffee maker, this one would work excellent. So it looks like it comes in charcoal, matte black, and onyx black. I got the Empire Red. I'm going to compare this one to my OXO now because that was my favorite one. But wow, this one just, I think it's going to blow it out of the water. Just because with all the adjustments, you can really fine tune, 
get it exactly where you want it if you want to change the time and all of that. But if you want to just use what they have set, I thought their settings were just fine. So if you want to hit the subscribe button, I'll be doing a lot of videos kind of like this. And if you hit the little bell right by the, the subscribe button, you'll get a notification when I release a new video. I'll put a link to this product in the show description notes. I am an Amazon affiliate. If you click on the link, I do get a little bit of money if you end up buying the product through Amazon, but the product doesn't cost you anymore. I really appreciate everybody supporting my channel. And I really do hope this video helps. And if there's any other coffee grinders you'd like for me to review, please leave them in the comments down below. And thanks everybody for watching.